Hello folks, after a long time after the exam, so, so I had to be a, bit away from, be a bit away from YouTube to be fresh, so I relaxed a lot, I thought a lot, and I thought that uh, I'd be approaching these things so, in a bit new way, always a new beginning actually. So now I have a question of uh, paper 4 here, paper 4, it's of 2008, May, June, paper uh, 04, and the question number is 6. And is concerned with uh, magnetic field as well as uh, uh, magnetic induction. It says that a small rectangular coil, coil ABCD, so this is the coil ABCD here, contains 140 tons of wire. So that means uh, our N is equal to 140 here. The sides AB and BC of the coil are of lengths uh, 4.5 centimeter, so which is uh, L is equal to 0.045 meters and the breadth is equal to 0 0.028 meters so i have changed these things into uh, si which will be useful for me later on the coil is held between the poles of the large magnet so that the coil can rotate about an axis through the center so this is the axis it can rotate here rotate, and these two things are the wires uh, giving current and uh, uh, and taking uh, current the magnet produces a uniform magnetic field of uh, flux density b in the poles so these are the poles here poles it produces magnetic field field uh, b here that are not given when the current in the coil is uh, 170 milliampere so this i is equal to 170 milliampere means 0 0.170 ampere here when i divide that by 1000 the maximum torque produced in the coil is uh, this one so this is equal to tau here for the coil in the position for maximum torque whether state whether the plane of the coil is parallel to normal to the direction of the magnetic field so in order to have a max torque max torque we have to state that uh, whether the plane of the coil is perpendicular or parallel so what happens is this in this position what we have is so let me say ad is just like this the ad is just like this so here if uh, we have got uh, by using left hand rule here left hand rule so we have the uh, magnetic field like this magnetic field somewhat like this and if I if I say current is coming like this, current is coming like this, current is coming towards us, then the force will be up. So let me do like this. So a bit uh, difficult here. So force will be up here. So let us say uh, here the force is up, the force is up here, and here it is down. If I say so, then what I have right now is the 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 the, the plane right now is exactly uh, perpendicular to the to the direction of the forces. So here is the direction of force. And here is the direction of the force exactly perpendicular. So in other case, if I have the coil is like like this, coil like this, at that time I'll have at that time I'll have uh, uh, the coil like this. So the coil like this, uh, force like this, and force like this. So F, F. So in this case, the torque is definitely going to be zero because the line of action of the forces is uh, same. But here, the line of action is the farthest. So, according to the formula FR sine theta or something like that, then we have in this position the torque should be maximum. So, that means that uh, the plane of the coil should be parallel to. It should be parallel parallel to, to the direction of the magnetic field. Now, in the second uh, question I have put, for the coil in a position shown in figure 6.1, Calculate the magnitude of the force on the side AB of the coil. So we have to find this force, this force and this force, this force here, AB and CD forces will be equal, but we have to find FAB. So for that, this is the position of the maximum torque here. So that's why tau is a maximum, tau is a maximum when we have got F into, F into here will be equal to, uh, equal to this distance here. So this AD distance is equal to breadth here, breadth and uh, and uh, at this time, uh, the value of cos theta or cos something uh, will be equal to 1 here. We have got cos alpha something like that, so it's equal to 1. So therefore, the force will be equal to F by B. That's equal to F is, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, tau is equal to, tau at this time is equal to 2.1 into 10 to the power minus 3. And the breadth is equal to, uh, this much 2.8, so it is uh, 0 0.028. So when I do this calculation, I will have 2.1 uh, exponent minus 3 divided uh, 0 0.028 equal to, yeah, it's equal to 0 0.075 Newton. So force equal to 0 0.075 Newton.
the value of force. Then, in the next question, I have got, I have to find the force on side BC. The force on side BC. So, side BC is this. This is this. So, this wire will have uh, no force at all. It's because the magnetic field is like this and uh, the corner is also like this. Like this and like this. So, if we have some angle, there will be force. And if we have no angle, theta zero, then there will be no force at all. So, the force here will be exactly zero. Exactly, it is zero Newton. Now, in uh, number C, choose your answer uh, to B1. To B1 means uh, this answer here, to this answer, to show that the magnetic flux density B between the poles of the magnet is 70 millitesla. So, we have to use this thing to find the magnetic field here. So that requires that. So what I have is the expression for the force here is equal to F is equal to B I L sine of 90 degrees. So what I mean here is the magnetic field is like this, the coil going like this. So the angle between them will be uh, 90. So magnetic field here, uh, coil, the current coming like this, like this. So the angle here, this angle here, this angle actually, if I view from here, so from this, yes, I have to say this angle is, so let us say this angle here. It should be equal to 90 here. This angle should be 90. My finger might be deformed, deformed, but uh, this angle should be equal to 90. So, F equal to B I L. Then I'll have it's equal to B I L simply. Uh, and uh, yeah, the next thing is we have a number of turns of coils here. So uh, the so what I have is we have not only one uh, wire. We have got many wires here, many wires. And how many wires? It is equal to equal to equal to. It's given as uh, 140 turns. So this current here, current here is passing uh, passing to this direction or this direction 140 times. So what I must have is instead of I, I must have here Ni here. Ni, Ni. So let me write it properly. You see B, N, I, L. N, I, L. So therefore, 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 the value of uh, uh, B should be equal to is equal to F by N, I, L. That's equal to F is equal to we, we have got the answer as uh, as this 0 0.075 newton so f equal to 0 0.075 whole divided n equal to 140 here 140 140 turns uh, given as this 140 turns so somewhere here then 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 let me arrange the papers properly it often goes slips like this so it is 140 uh, into i is uh, uh, the value of current is 170 milli tesla so current is 170 milli tesla which i have written as uh, 0 0.107 ampere sorry it is milliampere actually and it's changed to ampere so 0 0.170 into the length is equal to this much this much so it is 0 0.045 meters so it is 0 0.045 meters now if i use calculator what i'll have is so force is uh, 0 0.075 divided bracket 140 into 0 0.170 into 0 0.045 bracket close. So this becomes this, this becomes equal to 0 0.070 Tesla and that's equal to 70 milli Tesla. Now in D1, state for his laws of uh, inner induction. So it's about uh, induction of EMF when uh, many field lines cut through. A closed uh, circuit or coil and the value of uh, emf is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked to the coil linked to or cutting through the coil now in number two we are asked uh, the current in the coil e is switched off so current is switched off so the current here is switched off switched off and then 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 uh, the coil is turned through 90 degrees so now the coil is turned like this so from here it goes like this so from here to here then like this now in a time of 0 0.14 seconds so time is 0 0.14 seconds so we have to find the average emf here so every emf is like this e is equal to minus or you can just use uh, the magnitude here so it is a change of phi change of magnetic flux linked to the coil by time equal to now the flux is that initially at this stage the lines of force will be going like this they are all going like this so the flux through this area this area means uh, this area here this area the flux through this area is zero in the very beginning so i must have in the beginning it is zero minus 
and the final is final is when it goes like this it will be equal to the whole area a is exposed here exposed perpendicularly so that's why we'll have we'll have b a n so the flux now is b a n now the time is equal to 0 0.14 so it's equal to b is equal to uh, b is equal to as we have found the value this thing here uh, 0 0.070 into area is linked into breadth so i have got to uh, these values here so 0 0.045 into 0 0.028 uh, then again into here into n is 140 all divided i have got uh, 0 0.14 so when do the calculations i'll have uh, 0 0.070 into 0 0.045 into uh, 0 0.028 into 140 divided 0 0.14 and the value will be value will be ultimately 0 0.88 something so 0 0.88 something 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 uh sorry 0 0.08 actually 0 0.088 uh, let me excuse me excuse me so 0 0.088 something something volts so it's equal to equal to 88 millivolt or simply 0 0.088 volts so this is the total answer for this question.